So somebody else other than me, the account, when I see the charge, when I see the expense, when I see what the debt, it is not on my account, it's on somebody else's account. Are with me? What, one more time, what's the imputation? So do you believe this little teenager, I don't know how old she is, you believe that's her credit card? No. Who's credit card is it? Mom. So she can be willing to go back here and charge all she wants because she doesn't have to pay. Some kind of way, I don't know how kids, I'm going to help the parents out for a minute. I don't, know how, I don't know why kids think that they have the access to the bank of parent. And y'all got this, oh, we got this unlimited money that's always there. And whatever they need, they, got, they need some new this and they need some new this. And all they got to do is go to us. And not, no one, and no, how, how many of us, have, how many children can really know how much your parents sacrifice for you? I said, how many children know how, I mean, two people. And so you got to know that those parents are sacrificing to make sure. But what we do is, so when she charges something, it is charged on her mama's account or daddy's account and not on her account. You with me on that? So if she has her mama's credit card, if she has her daddy's credit card, who's being charged? Mama or dad. Is she being charged? Will she ever be penalized at that point? Why? Not her account. So mom and daddy, they can, they can go back in here, but she, whatever the merchandise was, she receives the, she's the recipient of it because she was able to charge something on somebody else's account. Now let me ask you a question. What are the, so every child, when a child gets something, who is paying for what the children have? Say it loud. So I don't care, all the little kids tell me, oh, I got a little, little job, I got a little fast and not going. I, when you start talking about all of the food and all the clothes, and all of the fresh fades, and all of the new hairstyles y'all got every week, and all the change in eye color, and all of the nails, and you got this nail done, and it's different from this nail, and now they got all different color nails, and all that's done is mama and mama and daddy are paying for that, not the child. Now, yeah, y'all got a little, little something in the pocket, but the idea was more rent, mortgage, food, all that's being paid for by the parent. Amen. Are you with me on this? Come on now. Parents, y'all, I'm not trying to have y'all parents. All the parents are paying it. And so the children think they are entitled. See, here's the point. If mom and daddy go to work, that's mom and daddy's money. Their money is not automatically your money. Parents, I don't need to by myself up here. So that because the check comes back and says mama or daddy. It doesn't say child. But the child does not care in some cases that the, child, that the money in their mind, well, my mama got a job, my daddy got a job, big mama got a job, so at this point it belongs to me. And so as a result, they start living like they got money. And I don't understand how kids who don't have a job take a vacation. A vacation is when you're working. You got a job, you're taking a break, if all you're doing is chilling, playing game work, that is not a So the idea was, so you have, so a mama and daddy are going through here, the check is made out to them. But these kids tend to think that the money is there. So a kid always expects the child, the parents to pay. Now, now don't y'all hate on the, just because y'all can't wear a double breasted suit when y'all five and six years old look that sharp, y'all tell you, mom and dad, mama paid for that. So that's you. So all the kids are being paid for. Every, my double breasted mama paid for it. My little fresh face, mama paid for it. The toothpaste to get out shit, the teeth to shine, mama paid for it. All that's paid for by mama the entire time. Parents. So everything that I was able to get, food, clothing, shelter, was not charged on my account. It was charged on hers. Are y'all with me so far? So now tell me then, parents, or just everybody, when are the times, give me two times in life where people just, I, I, I just have to spend a whole lot of money. What, what, what goes on in life where they just spend a whole lot of money? Give me these two things. Christmas. Christmas. Oh, okay, yeah. Christmas one of them, yeah. Give me another one. College. Co co oh, yeah, college. Weddings. <laughs> Weddings. And graduations. I'm telling you, if, if you ever want to start a business, find a business and get hold to that graduation money. 
Because come graduation time, these, how many seniors I got and how many seniors I have in the house? Raise your hand if you're a senior. Amen. Oh, oh praise God. Give God a hand that praise for seniors. Amen. But seniors, that, that there's an unwritten rule that there are expenses that you're going to have that they don't tell you about when you were junior. All you see is the fact that this point somehow walked across the stage. But you don't know all the expenses they're going through. You gotta first of all have a picture. Which, oh yeah, oh yeah, I could rock the phone. Be real quick. I could rock the phone. Don't be fair. It's not that I can't grow. I choose not to grow. So the idea was so, so, the, so there's a senior picture. It makes no sense to have to pay for somebody to take your picture. You got a camera step in. Do yourself it. The idea. So that's one thing. Now, now, this footnote, let me just put, why are we talking about this footnote? So, there was a time that obviously had been missed in this generation. There was an invention years ago called a comb. <laughs> and what the comb would do, you would start at your root and go all the way out. Look how that thing is just beautiful right there. Look at that. Look at that. Go all the way out. And you wouldn't walk around looking like kid and play with it all upside. You, you, you'd be perfectly round. So now, so, so, but some kind of way we have done a disservice to our younger kids because I guess they don't sell any more combs. Because every time I see somebody like that, I just want to grab them and just start just, I just want to pull it through it. I just want to pull it and just shake it. So the idea was, so, so, the, so there was a comb that was there. And, and, and why they got a, got a, got a, look, what got, a, got a sharp all the way around and trim? What comb you had in? So there, so there was a comb that was there. So now, and so, oh yeah, oh, rocking the three pieces, oh yeah. So, so you get had. So during your senior year, there's some expenses folk won't tell you about. There's, so you got all these pictures going on. And don't be involved. And, and athletes, y'all know, you, it, athletes, uh, you're involved in clubs. Every club, every activity, has an expense. It, uh, oh, who's it? Oh, look who wake up in here. All right now. <laughs> Sing the picture. All right now. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, 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 she's just so pretty. So, yeah, so, so, so every activity in high school, activity, senior council got to pay duty. What? Oh, and what is that? Honor Society. I, I, you going to be, got to pay for being smart. That little stove folk had, we had, I don't know how much money, just to have a, a picture with a stove, to rent a stove and give it back. Uh, at this point, Glee Club, singing. Had to pay to sing. I can sing in my shower free. At this point, and don't take, how many of y'all took AP classes? Oh my God, accelerated placement classes? Now, if you pass it, you don't have to do it in college. But those things are expensive. All these expenses that occur because of being a senior. I guess we were ready for Soul Train. I don't know who was. But the idea was that they got all this point. There are all these expenses that add up and add up and add up. And every time I need an expense, even though I had a little part time gig down in Burger King, where do you think I was going to get my money? My mom. My mom. At the end of the day, and when I got her credit card, the expenses were charged on her account, not mine. And don't mention sports. Oh my gosh, they don't mention sports. So this, oh yeah, now be clear. We went to the state championship. We lost now. But we went and we just went, praise God. So the idea was, so, all, so if you go out and get food, now now the football team here, Smith is blessed because my wife makes sure they are fed all the time. So y'all better give God a hand up a praise right now for her making sure y'all have something to eat. But I'm telling you right now, it was up to me, y'all have some hot dogs and weenies. But the idea was, so the idea was, so she's all, but then all of these expenses, Occurring and occurring and occurring, all charged as a senior to my mama's account. All, I didn't have to pay a thing because it was all charged to her account. So this is really what most of us are looking like. We may not be saying, but this is what most of the kids are looking like. It's like, well, at this point, we they view the credit card as unlimited money. I said, the young folk believe to view the credit card as unlimited money. If there's, if there's a $10,000 limit, you don't have $10,000. You got $10,000 of debt. So the idea, so, and, and, but the, that's, where all, that's where kids are. I'm going to get credit card, I'm going to go in there, and here's the next one. 
And praise God, at some point, every parent is waiting for this moment. I have stopped swiping my mama's, my parents' credit card. I don't know when that point is. Because our oldest daughter is married, got her own job, married to a doctor, and she's still swiping. So I don't know when, when this point is, but at some point we look forward to it in life. So imputation, charging to another's account. Are we good on that? Now look what happens here. So here's what I want you to see now. But the charge can only be on one account. Listen to me now. The charge can only be on one account. If, if we're going to go back here and charge whatever, they, they didn't charge my mama's account and then charge my account. They didn't do it. They just charged one account. How many accounts did you charge on? One. All right, so I need to have Candace, you and Janiah come up here for just a moment for me, please. You've got to hang out here. These wonderful ladies come up here right now. All right, so I want to... Y'all come quick, y'all come quick, I can't preach it. So the idea, so, now let's suppose, for example, we're going to go back in here and, okay, so, 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 so Janiah, we're going to say at this point, Janiah is, now again, I need you to really stretch your imagination. She's God. <laughs> and then Candace is a human. Oh, you're then one okay? Now, what she has, okay, here, here it is. So, hold it up, so right, no, quick, quick, make the real one here, hold this up. What's that in her hand? A ball. So we're going to say that that is her, the sin. Now the question is, should she have a whole lot of balls? Yes. Should, okay. Oh, look, this is a whole different sermon right now. I thought it would be here, but they were here. But I, so, so that, so, all right, so. <laughs> so people can commit many sins but there's only one sin nature so this represents the sin nature okay sin nature so what does a dancer do what does a singer do what does a sinner do so if the, if the person has a sin nature they gonna do what so don't be upset with folks if they sin and they if they if they upset us, that's what they do. So the idea was so so so, so we have this. Okay, hold on there. And so here is God. Yeah. No, this 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 hold on, no, no, don't move. This is right. No, no, this is right. You know, I'm gonna talk to God. So the idea was what we have. So you oh, you can oh, so again, you don't have sin natures. You have when we were born, we had one one. Sin nature, are we good? So, so a sin nature can commit sins, but there's one sin nature. You can make it Y'all got me? So it's one sin nature. Now here's what happens. Now you can only have one of these. So, so at this point, let's say, so this is Jesus here. Here's your sin nature. Yeah, now, I, I, I just mentioned Jesus right now. You got to hold it. You got to hold it. Work with me here. Now, now she wants to be God. I'm not God. Nobody's God, okay? So, 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 so here's the sin nature. You can only have one ball. Okay? How many balls can they have? One. So what's this ball right here represent? Sin. sin. This ball represents righteousness. Righteousness, okay? What does this ball represent? Sin. This represents what? Righteousness. Now, what imputation is, when Jesus died on the cross, he gave our sin nature went where? To Jesus. And then his righteous nature went to us. No, hold on. When we y'all getting really excited about this. So the idea, so our sin nature. When, when we got saved, when Jesus went to the cross, our sin nature went where? Jesus. To Jesus. And what's this? Goes where? Well, that's good. You should be excited about that. So the idea, so now can she have righteousness and sin? Can only have, no, no, no. She can only have one more. Either the nature is going to be sinful or the nature is going to be righteous. You, you, that, this is just a friend. At some point when our nature got sent, 